Make sure that the stroke is filled to black. Click on the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key, and drag. And don't worry if the size of the eye is too big, we can always change that later. Okay. Now we're going to pick some colors for the eye. Now you can pick whatever colors you want, but I'm going to go over here, swatches, and click on this little icon here. Click on gradient and select sky. Here you have a wide range of options and you can choose any one that you want. You can choose brights, color harmonies, and sky. So I'm going to choose this color today for today's tutorial. Okay, now making sure that the circle is selected, we are going to click on the gradient. And then we're going to change the type from linear to radial. Now the next step is to draw another circle and we're going to select the fill and change the gradient to black. Okay, now holding down the shift key, we're going to draw a circle. Now we're going to use a tool called Crystallize, all right? And what the Crystallize tool does is it add random points to a shape. You just have to make sure that the stroke and or the fill is filled in with a color. Okay, now we're going to select on the last circle that we did, that we used the Crystallize tool on. So you're going to go to Transparency and change from Normal to Soft Light. Okay, now that we've created the first part of the eye, we're going to work on the eyelid. So for this part you would have to be really experienced with the pen tool. If not, it, do, it does take some getting used to getting used to the pen tool, but practice makes perfect and once you get used to it, the pen tool will be your best friend in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to change the fill from the gradient to black. And with the pencil, you'll start from the corner of the eye and go right over.
Okay, now working with Adobe Illustrator, when you're using the pen tool to maneuver the handles, what you do is you hold down on the control key and this will allow you to maneuver the handles any way you'd like because if you don't and you try to create, you could try to connect the path, this is what's going to happen. So when you hold down on the control key, So when you hold down on the control key, you are able to better maneuver the handles and making it easier to close the path. So now I'm just going to connect these two and bring it up a little bit closer so that it's thinner. All right, we're almost done. Now we're going to create a few more details and add some shadow to the eye, fill in the color of the eyeball, and also add some eyelashes. Let's start with adding some shadow for the eyelid. And we're going to trace over the eyelid. You add eyelashes, and let me just get closer so you can see. You can add eyelashes and you curve the pen tool. And then you connect the points and you bring them closer. The closer you bring them together, the thinner the eyelash will look. Now I've already created some eyelashes for this tutorial, but this is how you would create an eyelash. All right, for the top lashes, the way I created those, I'll show you. I started with the shape, and then I used the crystallize tool. And you can adjust this, um, the shape or the size depending on the shape of your eye. But that's how I that's how I created the eyelashes for the top row, only because the the upper eyelid is very thick with makeup. If it were thin, like the bottom lash, like the the bottom lid, I would have used thinner eyelashes, like the ones we use here for the bottom lid. But this is just so when you're when you're doing an eye that has heavy makeup, that that's how I created the the top row eyelashes. So again, I had some already made for this tutorial, so that's what I'm going to use for the top lashes.
Okay, we're almost done. Now we're going to fill in the white part of the eyeball and fill in the inner eyelid as well as the corner of the eye. Okay, for one last detail, we're just going to add some highlights to the eye, and then we'll be done. And we're going to select those two circles. Click on Transparency, and click on Soft Light. Now let me just show you a close-up of the eye. And you'll see that using the Crystallize tool really does help make the eye look very realistic. Okay, adding all these layers and gradients and then the highlights here.